What is going on my Walter family? And welcome back. Today, I got two gentlemen here. I got Matthew Tomek and Ernesto Lozano. They're part of our Blue Collar Jumpstart program. How old are y'all guys? I'm 17 years old. I'm 16 years old. What school do y'all go to? I attend Galena Park High School and I'm also a senior there. Okay. I go to CTHS and I'm a junior. You're a junior? And a senior? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Man, I wish that was me. But let me tell y'all something. What got you into welding? Uh, it's just something that my family's always done and I've always just caught on to it and liked it. That's nice, that's nice. What about you? It was one of the choices at my school and that one just seemed the most interesting. You, you play with fire, you build things out of nothing. It just seemed really interesting. Nice, nice, nice. So what are you about to do right now for, for this tutorial? Well, we're gonna brother-in-law a 12 inch, 375 wall, 6010 root hot. 7 to 18 filling cap all the way out, man. Oh, what position? 5G. 5G, 5G position was from the bottom up in the thick position, correct? Yes, uphill. Sir. Nice, nice, nice. Uphill, not downhill, guys. Yeah. So I'm going to let them go to town, let them have fun, all right? Like I said, these guys from our Blue Collar uh, Jumpstart program, which is going to be an awesome program, guys. Stay tuned at the end so y'all can know more about it, all right? Let's get to it. All right, guys. So right now, we're just cleaning the bevels. We cleaned the inside of the pipe a little bit and we're about to do a 332 landing on the east pipe. So right here guys, you want to make sure your landings are nice and smooth. And you also want to get a 332 spacer to make sure your gap is, you know, 332. I mean, you can get, you can run bigger or smaller, it's your preference, but we choose the 332 gap. And we also ran it at 75 amps to tack it up. All right, guys, so right now I'm about to run my route. I put it at 72 amps. I'm gonna do the whip and pause method on it. Make sure you're pushing it in all the way. If not, it's just not gonna come out. You know, right here you can see getting good penetration nice gap get good penetration as you can see doing the whip method on this part you know whatever method you like to use you know is you but i prefer the whip and pause method because my root comes out better on that after after each time you stop on your root make sure and fill it on your tack so you can get a good a good restart
make sure when you restart you start below below your your stop point and then go up and restart it make sure you push real hard on your your the edge so you get a good tie-in and just continue whipping it up and filling up your root make sure you're getting good penetration if y'all's keyhole ever gets too out of control start right away turn down your machine a couple amps and just run it again and that should fix it also if you're doing the, the whip method don't whip out too far because that also messes up your keyhole you can leave some metal like a head like on the whip method just whip to like the top of your keyhole and then back down and you'll slowly see the the weld following you up and up and up oh, and yeah. it'll come out good once you get to three to twelve o'clock you don't necessarily need to push in a lot so it doesn't droop down on you. you you could also go a little bit faster if you really want just make sure um, if you're not like advancing, stop right away because it will droop on you real bad. Yeah, when you get to the top, you know, gravity plays with you and it will droop really bad if you go real slow. So make sure, you know, keep going. You can go speed it up so your root comes out good and it's not all droopy on you. Once you're done with your root, you want to make sure and grind it down nice and smooth so you can get ready for your hot pass. You know, get it nice and smooth so when you do your hot pass, there's no like big old glumps or bumps in your way and your hot pass comes out smooth. Also, try not to grind a lot whenever you're grinding down your root. So when you do your hot pass, it doesn't blow through. Right here on our on our hot pass, we're using the the whip up and and go back down to the top of the weld and you pause. Like this method, you know it makes it makes the little dime look. And uh, yeah, me, I'm doing a little whip and then down. But whenever I go down, I touch both the bevels so it confuses properly. Oh, I ran mine at around 83 amps, but you could do it 85 to 90. I just didn't want to blow through. Yeah, I, I ran my amps around 85. I mean, when, when you restart, you don't really need to you know, buff down the beads. You just start real quick. Yeah. Don't let it don't let it cool down. Just so whenever it's warm, it ties in perfectly. And when you restart, like, how, how do you restart? Do you go down in that six 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 motion and go ahead and start, or what do you do? I just I just go back where the beat is and keep doing the pattern. Oh right, yeah, that'd be the same. As you can see, I'm whipping up. I'm coming back down to the top of the beat and I'm holding it till it builds up and hits each wall, and then back up and down to the top of the beat where it hits each wall. It's just repeating myself over and over from the bottom to the top. Like right here, um, usually one of us stops first and let's do the tie in, but this time we had a lot of rods, so we just tied in at the same time and it just looked good. On your, on your field pads, you want to make sure you don't have build up in the middle, you want to make sure the bead is nice and flat across the bevel so you don't have to worry about grinding down and, and messing up your cap or anything like that. Good, nice and flat. It wasn't all uneven, you know. Make sure make, you always, always when you're welding, don't watch the rod. Watch the weld, cause you know the rod's not doing it, not doing nothing. Your weld is what makes it look good, you know. Your yeah, you're using your rod, but you need to look at your weld to see how it's coming out. Make sure you're hitting each wall. Make sure you're filling it up and everything. Also, on the top, whenever we we restarted, one of us stopped between the weld. And then he tied in good, so he don't get no slight inclusions, process, or nothing from the tie-in. We also did that on the bottom. Right here, we bust our cap. Um, I 
to drag it up all the way. I try not to long arc it on the bottom, but once I get to the middle and up, I long arc, I long arc it a little bit, so my bead lays in kind of smooth and not all bumpy and stuff. Yeah, I also do the same thing. I, I get a, I long arc it a, a little bit so where my bead can lay out nice and flat and have a nice look to it. On the cap, after each weld, I clean the slag on the end of the weld so I don't get nothing on my cap. On your cap, make sure and you know let your pipe down, pipe cool down about five, ten minutes. You know, so when you do your cap, you don't get no undercut. You know, and it looks nice and good. Whenever you do your second beat of the cap, try to overlap the first beat a little bit, but not too much to where it covers the whole first beat. And you also want it to cover the other side of the of the bevel. Yeah, you want to do about 50-50, like 50% bevel and 50% of the cap, of the, of the first bead on the cap, you know, so it looks nice and good when it's all the way up. Also, make sure it doesn't go way too far out of the bevel, maybe like a 16th, but if you're going like a quarter inch past the bevel, you're doing something wrong. Oh, on, on our cap, I run about 95 amps, as long as this amp I'm comfortable with, lets me lay down a nice, flat, good looking bead. You know, so my cap looks nice and good. I ran my cap at about 90, 90 amps straight. And you gotta remember guys, you know, we're still in high school, we're still starting out. So not everything's gonna be looking good. You know, we're still learning and we're still got a long way to go in the welding industry, man. By no means, we're perfect, we just started. We only had a little bit of time to practice on this. And it looked pretty good. I could have I could have done my restarts a little bit better, but they're still not that bad. And make sure you get penetration along everything and your tines too. Y'all finished? Yes sir. yes, sir. Check it out real quick. It looks consistent. I like it. You know, from 12 <clears> o'clock <throat> to 3 and 9 o'clock look good. There's one little spot right here on the bottom side that was a little bit like a fusion. It didn't push all the way through, but it's okay. And this bottom side here is a little bit, little bit heavy, but you know what? We can always fix that, especially y'all come two days out of the week, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays for the Blue Collar Jumpstart program. All right, man. Looks pretty good, gentlemen. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Did you have fun? Yeah. Good, good, good. Guys, if you want to know more about the Blue Collar Jumpstart program, you can donate to www.welltubeusa.com and see these high school kids grow in the industry and get that opportunity that they want at such a young age, okay? Um, companies out there as well. These guys come here free of charge, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Right after high school, they jump in, starting to weld, and they can weld anything right now. So right now, y'all did stick welding, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. What are y'all gonna do next, TIG? Yes. Right, and then after that, ink canal, yep. stainless, yep. The pipeline. All these kids it. are getting it hands-on all the time, every day, okay? Only Tuesday and Thursday. Wish it was every day, though. Um, they're doing it step by step. So, that's what the Blue Collar is all about, all right? And if you wanna donate or sponsor companies out there, I know y'all got it, all right? Help these guys out, help them succeed, you can bring them in. And like I said, www.welltubeusa.com, you can donate. All right guys, don't forget, this is what our Jumpstart program is all about. We wanna get these high school kids, you know, Matthew and Ernesto and any future high school students that we're gonna get coming straight out of there, all right, job site ready, okay? And remember, don't forget, Burn, learn, and eventually, y'all gonna earn. Y'all have a good one. And subscribe to WellTube. Yes, sir.